Hello everybody, back with another quick tip. In this week's video, we're gonna take a look at creating a podcast in Adobe Audition when you have two USB microphones attached to the same computer. Now, this is a little bit tricky, but we have some things that'll help you on your way. First up, navigate to asioforall.org. This is the software you'll need to make everything work. In Audition, go to Edit, Preferences, Audio Hardware, select ASIO, make sure your setting is ASIO for all, increase your buffer size, and then go to settings. In settings, you'll want to make sure you're selecting the gear option, then you'll want to turn on your microphones, make sure that both of them are selected, as well as an audio output device. Select the X in the corner, then select OK. Next, go to File, New, Multitrack Session, enter a name, then make sure that it's set to Podcast, then select OK. Next up, we want to select the FX option in the podcast, and we want to turn off all of our effects. Now, this will help us as we're getting the recording set up. Next, we want to change the input and output options. So we're going to go to the input, and then we're going to select our stereo first microphone. Then we're going to do the same on the interview here. So we're going to want to make sure that we go to the right one. Now, if you're selecting output, it's not going to work. You have to select that input stereo and then choose your second mic right there. The last thing we want to do before we start recording is to arm those recording tracks so they're ready to go once we start our podcast. Once we do this, we should be good to go to start recording both the host and the interview for our podcast. Now I'm going to come to the bottom and hit record, and then I can record all of what I want to say. And I'm going to fast forward through this part so you don't have to listen to me talk twice. Next up, I want to zoom in on this a little bit so I can edit this. I didn't get a perfect recording, so what I want to do is double click on these tracks so I can remove this audio where it's picking up two of the different microphones. Now that I've got this track open, I can select that other bit of microphone, right click on that, and then I can select silence. I also want to do that to the end of the track, so same thing, select, right click, silence, and now both of those areas are silenced. I left a little bit of noise here, I'm going to select that, I'm going to right click on this, and I'm going to select capture noise print. Now with this, I'm going to click off, I'm going to go to effects, I'm going to go to noise reduction and restoration, and then what I want to do is I want to select noise reduction process up at the top of the screen. This will pop up a new window, all I have to do is hit apply, and that removes that noise from my clip. Now I'm going to double click on the interview, and I'm going to do the exact same process. I'm going to do the selection, I'm going to right click, I'm going to do a capture noise print, I'm going to click off, effects, then noise reduction, and then process, hit that apply option once again. Then I'm going to select those bits where you can hear the other microphone, right click, then I'm going to hit silence, and I'm going to do that right here as well. And then right click and hit silence. One last trick here, I'm going to double click on my multi-track setting. I'm going to go to dialogue. And then I'm going to change this to podcast voice. And then I'm going to do the same for my interview. So dialogue, then preset podcast voice. This will help it sound a little bit more impressive and make it sound a bit more like a podcast. Well, that's it for this week. Hope to see you again next week for another quick tip.